Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Reza Rosman and today I'll be presenting on minimizing musculoskeletal disorder or MSD using passive exoskeleton safety jacket. A bit of a background on the issue. Everyone knows that the construction industry is a dangerous working environment involving high risk. The International Labour Organization or ILO has reported that 2 million workers die every year due to occupational injuries and accidents. The construction industry was also identified as one of the significant contributors to the highest rate of work-related musculoskeletal disorders or MSW MSDs associated with cumulative trauma disorder or CTD and also lower back pain. A tremendous increase of musculoskeletal disease of MSD were reported in 2005 where there were only 10 cases but in 2014 there have been 675 cases reported by the social security organizations SOXO. The occurrence of MSDs is highest at 51.72% among industrial manufacturing workers here in Malaysia. Next we are going to look at the survey of 33 male industrial workers of the discomfort they felt at the different body regions. The highest among them were 89% experiencing discomfort at shoulder and arm, followed by discomfort at the back 74%, discomfort at the neck 42% and discomfort at knees and legs only 29%. Seeing this, the research is aimed to enhance the current wearable technology by using the latest technology application. In order to achieve this aim, three objectives were set. Objective number one was to identify and review the effects of musculoskeletal disorders or MSDs to the construction and manufacturing workers and what the current wearable technology in the construction industry available in today's markets are by looking through literature and also journal articles. The second objective of this research was to propose a new innovation idea that can help to improve the health and safety in the construction and manufacturing industry. The objective number three is to evaluate the marketability of the proposed innovation product to the potential users. As we can see from this table and as mentioned before, there was 675 MSD cases recorded in 2014, steadily increasing year by year to 708 in 2015, 1006 MSD cases in 2016, and 1,354 cases of MSD in 2017. The causes of major pain of discomfort felt by the workers where 15 complaints were lodged because of manipulation of heavy load, 7 complaints were due to high force exertion, 9 complaints on awkward working posture, 4 complaints on static load and only 1 complaint is due to repetitive work. So the idea development started off by looking on the IBS roadmap and the fourth industrial revolution which aims to help or increase the condition of the industry. However, we can see that there still involves heavy works and more importantly in this case manual labor works. The occupational diseases is also increasing and this affects workers daily. Critical reviews were done on the existing method and technology in wearables, but it was found out that a high cost is involved if the wearable technology is opted in the market instead of the workers. And number two, the cost of the an exoskeleton suit is expected to be priced at 1.5 million American dollars, which is around 6.3 million ringgit for one single suit. And therefore, the idea of having a wearable that is affordable to the workers. This is to ensure a safe environment to the construction and manufa manufacturing sites and also to the workers themselves. And finally, to enhance the quality of life of these workers. The design is inspired by a skeletal suit or exoskeleton that were developed from a standard safety jacket. 
Next, we'll look at the assembly of the passive exoskeleton safety jacket. It starts off with a standard safety jacket following a standard requirement. The size of the jacket can be adjusted using a velcro strap at the waist for better support. The velcro straps are one of the simple lumbar support devices. This feature is useful for improving function and reducing pain among those suffering from acute back pain. The velcro strap will provide enough compression and support to the lower back and lessen the pressure on the lower back disc, muscles and spine. The feature of the backpack strap is added to the safety jacket so that the wearer can have a sense of safety and have firm grip of the skeletal system from the backpack. <coughs> Excuse me. Reflective or glow in the dark strip is for ease of identification of the wearer during the construction in low light condition. The backpack line is for holding and adjusting the backpack to the comfort of the wearer according to their physique or body dimension. GPS module is added so that the administration can detect the exact position of the wearer in a large construction site. This is to help reduce the hazard happening to the workers because not everyone can be seen on the camera at this site. This can help shorten the time where medical assistance is required when any workers are injured. During the transporting phase of carrying load, the gravity of the load can be compensated by the cables and redistributed on the shoulder and thigh. Thus, the pressure of muscles on the arm can be relieved. A ratchet mechanism is used as a locking mechanism. The wearer can engage the locking mechanism by pressing an activation button installed on their thumb. The generated cable tension can be used for compensating the gravity of the load that they are carrying. A heartbeat sensor is fitted so that the admin can detect the heart pulse of the wearer and can record the data, whether the workers are exhausted or otherwise. The first sensor, which is the pulse sensor, will be placed at the fingertip, which is attached to an Arduino Mega module and a Wi-Fi module which helps transfer the data wirelessly. The second heartbeat sensor will be placed at the neck in the form of a smart fabric by a polymer optical fiber sensing technique which is used by the system based on a photoplethysmography as the heart rate sensor. In short, this research intends to assist the construction and manufacturing workers during lifting of heavy loads. The feature of the skeletal safety jacket consists of a light frame and a cable system mounted at the frame of the shoulder. Polyethylene braid style cables are used which have a high strength of extension up to 34 kg and it experiences low deformability. Gravity of the load can be compensated by cables and redistributed on the shoulder and thigh. Pressure of muscles on the arm can be relieved. And finally, there will be a lower risk of MSD with the help of this proposed innovation. So that's all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time listening to my presentation.